and a very merry young birthday to you and to me. Tomorrow's going to be my 40th. We made it. Hot damn. And uh, as you can see, we're wearing the crown today to help see if we can use the power of the crown to uh, pull some fantastic cardboard. Let's go. Y'all know how we do this around here at this point. We're going to start with some whatnot purchases and giveaways that we have won. As some of you know, I am in the process of collecting some of the, uh, all of the number 30 cards at this point in time now. I've got a good head start. And next one to add to the list is kind of beat up. But we have number 30, Acid Golem of Destruction. It's a little rough. But, doesn't matter if he's going in the binder, right? We also have a, a, a little bit of a roughed up Serpent Knight Dragon from the uh, Magic Ruler set. Spell Ruler, Magic Ruler. Uh, we also have another Dark Magician Girl. Uh, her page is filling out quite nicely at this point in time. And I don't buy foreign Japanese, Korean, or Chinese cards, but you know what? Uh, this is a really beautiful artwork, and it was pulled fresh out of the pack. So, you know what? You'll be in the Blue Eyes section. We also got a beautiful bestial of Bellion that's probably going to go straight into the shop. A collector, old, uh, prismatic collector, Trishula. A crossout designator, ultimate rare. An Apollosa platinum secret. Beautiful and shiny. I don't know if I have a platinum secret of Phantasma yet. If not, I have one now. A QCR, Pre-Preparation of Rights from Rarity Collection 1, and I hopped in, uh, oh I forgot whose whatnot stream it was, uh, and immediately won this Fossil Dig in a giveaway. So, another beautiful binder card. And then, we did get into a couple of sneak peeks of the new Infinite Forbidden set, and you know, with Mimigul bringing the flip effects back, I'm glad I kind of held on to the Soul and Luna, because just for shits and giggles, it might be fun to make a deck like this. But we got Mimigul Maker. We got Mimigul Room. And Mimigul Dragon. Uh, apparently, it is a, a dungeon crawling archetype. We have some uh, Exodia support with Obliterate and Exod Fires of Rage. And then... We have a, no you don't, I'm going to take your monster out of the graveyard, Monster Reborn. A Mementolin, yep, Creation King. Kuibiko, Smith in Paradise. And yeah, we're going to, we have two boxes of Infinite Forbidden on the way. i uh, just waiting for the release and, and send me my boxes, but can't wait i really hope to get a millennium onk that thing is so pretty in qcr we got a few ragnarok wicked butterflies still very pretty we have a medulce queen tier of phrase a cxyz gimmick puppet fanatics machinix heretical phobos kobos and for our first ultra out of the new set, we have Silvera, Wolf Tamer of the White Forest. Gorgeous. A Wedgie Temple. Uh, as I'm not building Millennium, I'm probably going to put that in the shop. And after a 15 pack rip till you hit run, we ended on this QCR. Uh, Disablaster, the Negation Fortress QCR. Beautiful. Uh, I believe it's the cheapest QCR out of the set, but it is still a QCR. Now, can we pull a Dragon Master Magia for my birthday? Why not? And remember guys, we are climbing to 250 subscribers now. If you haven't seen the 100 subscriber uh, special edition video, uh, go check it out. It's in the playlist. We just put it up uh, Monday. And uh, 
Tell me what you think. Uh, we have Electro Beast Kinayon, Wonky Quartet. Okay. An upside down full armored Utopic Ray Lancer. A Sprite Jet. And Piatti. These were the last four packs that uh, Tanuki Games had in their box. So we'll see if we get anything good out of it. We have a bunch of beast bodies. Guard dog. Why are these all upside down? We have void imagination. I think this is the alternate art. Sprite blue. We've got a few dollar card there. And a scrap goblin. If you're going to get any ultras, that uh, Sprite blue is definitely one to get. And Toy Box, Void Breach, Ice Jade, Jimir, Adjurin, Adjurin, Agrin, Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier, and Ritual Beast, Ulti, Kenahawk. Earthbound Resonance. Sengenjin, and with the um, Infinite Forbidden, I believe we have a Millennium version of Sengenjin. Aha! I was looking for one of these. I do need a secret upgrade for my Tri Brigade Mercurier, probably two. I think I need one more for my branded deck Golden Sword Soul, Gen X Ally Axel. Well, fantastic. At least I got one of the cards I'm looking for uh, for my branded deck. Pretty bird. And uh, something I've been holding on to. But you know what? It's my birthday. Why not? A 2010 core set, a uh, 15 card booster pack that I got from DJ's Boolean. Uh, I believe when I bought out his Magic the Gathering plot. Also, Another fun video. Uh, it took me about six to seven hours to edit. It was a lot of vintage magic cards. Uh, if you like vintage magic, also that's a that's a video you guys should go check out. It's a bit of a long one, so grab your popcorn. Uh, I have I don't even think I was was I playing magic in 2010. I have no idea what's in here. So let's see. Any pull tabs? Nope. Well, some y'all. Sorry. We ain't playing today. Cool, got an ice cage. Chant creature can attack block and its abilities can't be activated. Hmm. Deadly rec recluse. Reach and touch. Uh, death touch. Beautiful. That's a fun one. Got dread warlock. Can't be blocked except by black creatures. That would be fun. Canyon minotaur. Essence scatter. Oh. Counter target creature spell. Nice. Uh, Disentomb. Emerald Oryx. Shatter. Always good. Jump. Overrun. For our uncommon. Plus 3-3 three, three and trample. Nice. Howling Je uh, Banshee. Oh, okay. Telepathy. Oh, your opponents play with their hands. Is this a banned card? That that seems kind of hilarious and mean all at the same time. 
And we have a coat of arms. For our rare, each creature gets 1-1 one, one for each other creature on the battlefield that shares at least one creature type with. Huh. Nice. Okay. A swamp. And do we have a foil? Oh, oh okay. Yep, yeah, we have a foil swamp. Or a foil island. Well, isn't that pretty? Nice. Yes, and on this video, we're opening not just Magic, not just Yu-Gi-Oh, but Pokemon as well. Uh, I forgot, this was another, there was another Whatnot shop I got this one from for a pretty good price. Let's see if we can get us some uh, Charizards for our birthday. Why not? Hopefully, I will be able to make it to the uh, NACQ in Austin at least either Saturday afternoon, evening, hopefully all day Sunday. There's a lot of uh, Yugi tubers and people I would love to meet. Hopefully, I don't know if a Team APS is going to be out there, but uh, shout out to Jay from uh, Fresh Off the Press. I can't wait to catch up with you and grab a, hopefully a drink at least some pictures and maybe some fun stories but uh if you're going out to the uh, nationals here in austin let me know uh, we got houndstone for the cover card of course all right venison herdier Gilmit, Rhyme, Bofalant, Crabominal, Crabominable, King Gambit, we have a Reverse Hollow bron Bronzong, Reverse Hollow Dakurama, hey, you know, I don't even know what this rarity is called, but it does have kind of like a textured foiling like collector and ultimate rares do more so collector rare out of Yu-Gi-Oh but we have a trainer Ortega ah, nice energy and code card okay so we at least got a trainer out of this so far I really, really only want to collect the 151 set because that was, of course, the original set that came out when I was in high school. We got another holographic back there. Nice. Okay. Now right, we got Rock Rough, Wiglet, Shuckle, Bisharp, Oink Cologne. Letter of Encouragement. Chandelure. We have a Reverse. Hollow Friend of uh, Vengeful Punch. And another Rainer. Poppy. Okay. Same type of, of, of foiling. And a Darkrai. Okay. Nice. And Code Card. So two trainers so far. Interesting. No hide nor scale of Charmander or Charizard. Come on, Obsidian Plains. Give me a Charizard. Oh, we got Lillipup. Toxel. Charcadet. Honeyard, Altaria, I like the artwork on that, nice. Mawile, Bofalant, a Reverse Hollow Bunnelby, Reverse Hollow Arbolivia, 
And a hollow scissor. Nice. And the last code card. Man, you know, Pokemon foiling is pretty darn good, I gotta say. Hmm. All right. Now, I see these uh, for about 60 to 90 dollars. Uh, depending on where to find them. And uh, yeah, if I'm going to open anything on my birthday, this is definitely the one that I really wanted to open. We have Cybernetic Revolution, Elemental Energy, and Shadow of Infinity, I believe it is. And if you guys like vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! openings... Like, subscribe, comment, support the channel. And in the future, hopefully we can open a lot more stuff like this. Ugh, butchered that one. getting that promo out was a little rough. We have an ultra rare white horned dragon for the promo out of this GX pack. Mm -hmm. Wait, when this card is normal summon or special summon, select up to five cards from your opponent's graveyard and remove them from play. People look at stuff like this. Interesting. What to pick first? I think we will do that of infinity first. All unlimited. Shame. But better than nothing. Success probability zero percent. Elemental Hero Neo Bubble Man. Parasitic Tiki. Wow. Miracle Kids. Chainsaw Insect. And Super Junior Confrontation. Saber Beetle. Magnet Circle Level 2. And Discipline of the Forbidden Spell. Alright, no hollow out of that one. But I also don't expect a lot out of these. Uh, we have a Cybernetic Revolution. We got Ebon Magician Karen. The Jerry Beans Man, one of Ruxin 34's favorite cards. Dragon's Mirror. Pot of Generosity, one I have never pulled before. This is interesting. Miracle Fusion. And Spiritual Art, Spiritual Fire Art, Kurenai. A Revival Arrival Appears. And Psychroid and Poison Draw Frog. All right, elemental energy. What are you gonna? Are you gonna be nice to me for my birthday? All right, feathered wind. The League of Uniform Nomenclature. B Tiger Jet. Familiar possessed Hita. Feather shot. Non fusion area. Elemental hero wild heart. Infernal incinerator. Level modulation. The forces of darkness. Mm. We can't end the video like that. I have a few of these that I'm holding on to. 
but it's my birthday. Haha. Uh -huh. Do you think we can get a QCR out of these three? Do you think we can get more than one QCR out of these three? Start. Forbidden Lance. Book of Moon. Charge of the Light Brigade. Bullish Burial. Solemn Judgment. Okay, we have a Prismatic, Ultimate, Rare, Psychic, and Punisher. Trap Tricks, Raphalasia. Book of Moon. And Aluber, the Jester of Despia. Not a QCR, but I see something back there. And we got... Luber, Pearly Pretty Memory, Econ, a Collector Prismatic Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Oh, look at that. Okay. And a Collector Skullmeister. Also, a Luber. Early. Access Code Talker, alright. Always want to see him. And a preparation of rights. Last pack. Alright, starting off with Opelosa, Bow of the Goddess. We love seeing her. Any rarity. Exosisters Magnifica, Exosister Packs, Everybody's Beloved Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, another access code talker, once again we will always take access code, my friend Pearly, Yu-Gi-Oh's version of uh, Pokemon, Bingo Machine Go, up. Oh. Okay, we did get a QCR. All right, Primitive Planet Reich Phobia. Bingo Machine Go. Let's see what do we have here? Unchained Soul of Rage. You know what? I'll take ending a birthday video with a QCR. Fantastic and beautiful. Man, all right, not bad. A QCR, a couple of collector rares, and a prismatic ultra ultimate. Man, Look at this beautiful fossil dig pre prep and pre prep. So much shiny, beautiful cards today. Ugh. And I can't wait, I can't wait to get my two boxes of Infinite Forbidden. Yo, if this is how my 40s are going to start out, bring it on. Bring on the next 10 years, guys. And hopefully, y'all all be along for the ride. See you next time.